Groove Blog SEO. What's up everybody, James Jernigan here, and in this short video, I wanna show you how to optimize your Groove Blog so that you can start getting free traffic from Google search results, and in fact, all of the other search engines, Bing, DuckDuckGo, you name it. If you want people finding your blog organically so that you get free traffic, this is the tutorial for you. I'm gonna keep it quick, to the point, walk you through the whole process. We're gonna start out with the easy stuff, then I'm gonna move more into the advanced stuff for those of you guys who stick around. And for those of you who stick to the end of the video, I have something really special for you because I'm gonna show you how to expedite this process and uh, put some rocket fuel inside of it by using artificial intelligence and automation. So let's get started here. The first thing I wanna show you is the traffic for my blog. So before we get started with the tutorial, I want you to know that I do know what I'm talking about. This is my Groove blog traffic for the past year. This is Google Search Console, so this is all organic traffic. No paid traffic, no ads, no social media. This is all directly from Google Search results. So you can see I've got three, over three million impressions in the past 12 months and 12.5 thousand clicks. So that's an average of over a thousand organic visitors to my blog each month because of the process I'm going to show you in this video. Now, the cool thing about this is my blog has a super low click-through rate, right? This is only 0.4, not even 1% of people who see the impressions click on my blog. And part of the reason for that is because more than 50% of the content on this blog I've generated using artificial intelligence, meaning I let a bot do it. I hardly even looked at it. I just copied the content, made sure it wasn't anything crazy, posted it to my blog, and got, you know, 12,000 visitors over the past year. So this stuff works. If you're ready to get started, let's jump into it. So here I am already inside. I have a new Groove blog post pulled up. This is where you're gonna start. So this process is the same. It doesn't matter. I'm just gonna paste in some content here for my clipboard. Now, this doesn't matter. If you wanna sit here and type this out manually, you can do that. If you wanna have a VA create this content for you, you could do that. Or like I said, if you stick around to the end of this video, I'm gonna show you how to use artificial intelligence to create these type of blog posts for you, which will save you a ton of time. So let's get into optimizing this. The very first thing you wanna do if you paste in your content or if you type something is click Save Draft. Um, and actually it's gonna make us put a title before we can do that. So we'll just go ahead and copy our title here, paste it up here. There we go, now we have a title. So we will save the draft. Now the reason you wanna save first is because Grooveblog has this weird thing where it will just log you out randomly. I don't know if it's a bug or if they designed it that way, but it's really annoying. And if you spend a lot of time typing this content and don't save it, well, you're going to do it again. So before we get into optimizing, I want to make sure you actually have your content uh, saved. So the very first thing that's important when it comes to optimizing your Grooveblog is using your keyword in the title. So here my keyword is artificial intelligence toys. So we want that right here in the title. Now, the next important thing you wanna do with this is you want your H1 to match your title. And I'll show you exactly what I mean in just a second here. If we get this text down a line here and we will paste the title again, there we go, it's the same. So now what we could do is highlight this. And if you see here where it says normal, this is how you're gonna select your headings. Now your headings are very important for SEO, for Google to understand what's going on with your page. So we're gonna make this the H1 because it, you know that's the first title. So here we have the actual title of the blog. Now we have the header, the H1 title. And again, we want our keyword to be both in the H1 as well as the title. Now, if you don't like this being identical, you can change this up a bit, just reword this a little bit, but you want the same idea, the same concept, and most importantly, your keyword to be in your H1 and in your title. Now, another place that's important is over here in the post slug. Now, Grooveblog is gonna create this post slug for you automatically, which is pretty cool because it puts your keyword in the URL, but you wanna pay attention to this. If it doesn't, go ahead and type it in. You know, you need to make sure you use dashes instead of spaces and all that, but it will do this for you automatically. But I just wanna put that out there in case you don't use Grooveblog, if you're using another blogging platform, you wanna make sure that your keyword is in the title, in the H1, and in the URL or the post slug. So that's the first place we're gonna start. We'll go ahead and click save again. Now what I wanna show you is, uh, the next thing I'm gonna do is just uh, work on the spacing real quick. We'll just put some spaces between these paragraphs here. I know there's a few more at the bottom that need the same thing. So we'll just take care of the formatting really quickly. And then we'll save again. So. Now we've got our H1, 
But if you noticed in this, when I highlight this and click on this, it gives you the option to go all the way down to six headings, H1 through six. Now it's very important that you only use one H1 heading on your page. The rest of these you can use more than once if you want. But the basic concept is when you use a heading two, it should be a subheading for heading one. It should be relatable. So then if you're going to break the information down further, that's when you use heading three and then four and on down through five and six. So what we want to do is uh, come here. So here we have the title, 10 artificial intelligence toys that'll make you feel like a kid again. So then here we'll create an H2 and we'll call it best AI toys of 2023. So then we're going to highlight that. I like to make it bold. I think it looks a little nicer. So then if you saw what I did there, I did that a little fast, but all I did was select heading two. So now if we look at these titles, 10 artificial intelligence toys that will make you feel like a kid again, that's that's the both the title and the first heading. Then here we have best AI toys of 2023. So that's telling Google that, hey, these are the 10 best toys. Here's the list of them. And then so down, we'll scroll down further, and uh, here we could create an H3. And so again, we'd want to use the keyword artificial intelligence toys or AI toys. So those that's a variation. Those are two different keywords, technically according to Google, but it's the same concept and it's the same search intent. And ideally what we want to happen here is whether people search AI toys or artificial intelligence toys, we want this blog to come up either way. So down here we can make the h3 how do ai toys work and that's really simple you probably want to put a little bit more thought into this but i'm just trying to keep this video moving i know there's a lot of groove funnels tutorials out there and some of them are really long and drawn out so i'm trying to get right to the point here so this is going to be the most important part of your groove blog seo your title your headings your url and now you want to get into the meat of the content. So when it comes to using your keyword, you don't necessarily want to stuff the keyword, which is to use it over and over, but you want it to be prevalent throughout your content and you want to use variation. So here you could see AI toys. Here's the word again, AI toys. And then as it comes through, you'll just see lots of different uh, relatable words in here. AI technology to mimic human emotions. Um, there's AI toys again, and down here, here, we're actually listing the AI toys. So what this is doing is giving Google more relevant data. And ideally, what we want to happen with this blog post is we want our post to present the information better than the results that are currently coming up on Google for this keyword. So that's the main idea. Another thing you're going to want to do is use relevant images in your blog post because Google can read images, not just the text on the images, but Google knows that this is a picture of a robot. And since it's on a blog about robot toys, that's just going to give more relevance to what we're doing. So once you've got your title set up and you've made sure that your keyword and other relevant keywords that are relatable are inside of your blog and you've saved, now we're going to move over here to the post settings. So Again, you're going to want to choose an image for your blog, so I'll just do that real quick. Uh, hopefully I have some kind of robot image in here, readily accessible. I think I got one somewhere. There we go, we can use that one. So you'll select an image, and uh, this is going to be the cover image for your blog post. So if I had more time, I would actually use one of these images from the post itself. I'll probably use this one, but it's not uploaded and just to save time, I'm just using this one. But uh, you could select any image you want. So then again, there's your post log. You just want to check and make sure that that has your keyword and that makes sense. You can change the publish date if you want this to publish later in the future, not today. Um, then you're going to select categories, and if you don't have any categories on your blog, it's as easy as selecting add a new category here. So you're going to obviously name it, so I might name this AI Toys, and then the slug, again, this is part of your URL, so you would want the keyword in there. So there we go, AI Toys, and then you'd write a description, again, using your keywords. AI Toys are cool because they use artificial intelligence to make kids have fun, you know, whatever, whatever uh, keywords you want to put in there. I'll cancel that because um, I already have categories here, but then you'll just select the relevant categories. I'll put this under news and uh, yeah, we'll just leave it under news for now. But um, now there's two more parts 
to this that you're going to want to optimize. So we'll skip keywords. I'll come back to that in a second. The excerpt, this is the preview. So when uh, somebody searches Google, say they search artificial intelligence toys, and my blog pops up in the results, they're going to see this title. And then under the title in the Google search results, in between all the other people's websites, the excerpt is going to give them a little bit more information about my site. So the first thing you want to do in here is make sure that there's keywords in here. But the next thing you want to do is also make it clickable, make it clickbait almost. So here we go. I'll just grab this little section here. They use AI technology to mimic human emotions and interactions. They're perfect for any man child who misses the days of being a kid. So there we go. We'll copy that. We'll paste it in here. Um, and we will once again save the draft to make sure it saves. And if you go to paste this excerpt in and it doesn't save, what you want to do is hit the right arrow once you've got the cursor in there. And for whatever reason, it will then sense that you have text in that box. It's another bug that I can't believe they haven't gotten rid of yet. I've been using this for a couple of years. It's been doing that. I don't know what the problem is. But anyways, this is pretty much the last step. And again, I'm rushing through this. There's way more details for those of you who stick around and uh, check out the rest of my content. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe because I've got tons of group funnels tutorials on my channel. But this is basically the last part uh, moving through this tutorial is your keywords. So obviously we will put AI toys, AI toy, artificial intelligence toys, um, AI tech, AI technology, uh, fun AI, and you'll just want to go through and add as many relevant, highly relevant keywords here. You don't want to go putting crazy stuff. Like, I don't want to just go put it in here, like, toys you'll love, right? Like, because that doesn't uh, necessarily relate to everybody who's looking at this blog. They might not love, uh, you know, just toys in general. We want to keep this specific to artificial intelligence. So we'll say toys that use AI, toys with artificial intelligence, and... Uh, there's really no right or wrong answer to how many keywords you want to put in this box. It really just depends on your content. You can use as few as one or two, or you could stuff 20 or 30 of them in there. It's really up to you, and uh, it depends on the competition as to how many you need. So there's a few more details down here. You can come down here and enter the metadata, uh, edit the metadata, excuse me. It should pull all this information from what you typed in up here, which is really convenient, but you just want to check in case it doesn't. Um, here we go. It pulled the image and all this information. So that's good to go. That is literally it. And we are done with this post. So what I can go ahead and do now is click publish. And there we go. In just a few seconds, this post will be live on my blog. And that's how quickly we were able to optimize it. Obviously, I had this content created ahead of time to save time. But that's the idea. You want to focus on your title, your headings, your keywords in the content. And then you want to make sure that your metadata is optimized appropriately as well. So I hope this helps, but if you want to take this to the next level, instead of just typing about random things, about whatever you feel like, right, and hoping people find your content, there's a much better way. Instead, what you can do is use an SEO tool like this, and I will leave a link to this down below this video. But what this tool does is show you what people are already searching for so that you can create content about it. So check this out. If I put in AI toys, AI toy, artificial intelligence toys, and we hit enter, um, it'll take just a second. My internet's being a little slow, but here you can see it's finding keywords. It's already found 290, 386, 597, 700 keywords about this topic. So we'll give it just a second to uh, finish up pulling this data here. And now this is where the magic happens. This is where your traffic is going to come from. If you click here on monthly searches, check this out. It will organize the data based on the words that get the most searches, right? So if I click this again, and we scroll down, uh, it looks like it's not pulling this data. But here we go. If I come to this page, you can see these words get zero searches per month on Google. So if you're targeting one of these words, um, like say, toy putting toys online, nobody's searching that, so nobody's going to find your blog. And then if you choose one of these words, well, only 10 people are searching that a month. But if we organize this again by what gets searched the most, you can see this word, just toys alone, gets 550,000 searches a month on Google. But 
this next column, you could see the difficulty is 92. And if you were to run ads for this keyword for toys, you'd be paying $166 every time someone clicked on your ad. Now that's not what we want. We want free traffic from Google. So what we're going to do is scroll down here to one of these words that is green. So here we go. We have this one. Toy Bonnie Toys gets 210 searches a month, and the difficulty is only 17 compared to 92. And again, if you look at this one, here we go. AI Toys. This is the one that I'm targeting right here in my blog. 260 searches a month. The difficulty is only 24, but if I were to run ads for this, I'd be paying $39 per click. So again, if we come back here and we look at my traffic, 12,000 clicks in a year. And if we look at this keyword tool, how much some of these clicks cost, well, multiply these numbers by 12,000. Now, these aren't all the same keywords that my blog is ranking for, but you get the idea. I got 12,000 clicks for free that other people who are running ads are paying for, and I did it thanks to using this tool right here that you're looking at and optimizing my Grooveblog to target the keywords that I find in this tool. So. If that's something you're interested in, I highly recommend grabbing this tool while it's on sale. You can click the link right down below to do that. Um, but since you're here, I want to dive in and show you what all the rest of the stuff this tool can do. So this tool can actually even audit your entire website. So if we come here and I put my website in here, hustlemarketing.com, and that's with two S's instead of a T because I bought this as an expired domain. I didn't pick the domain, I just bought it and put my blog on it. But anyways, here you go, we'll audit your website. Now, it looks like the tool might not be playing nice with Grooveblog at the moment, but we can use one of my other websites to show you. If I use this one, howtorank.com, this tool will give you an audit of every page on your website. Like I said, it seems like it's not playing nice with Grooveblog at the moment, but maybe use a different blogger or maybe you have a site on Groove Pages. That's what this one is, How to Rank. This is on Groove Pages. And so you can see here, it will give you a score for the page. It will tell you whether Google Analytics is installed. It will tell you the response time, how fast your page is, whether it has SSL, that's site security. It will tell you what keywords each page ranks for. It'll tell you whether the H1 is in the title. Remember when I was walking you through the Groove blog, I said you want your keyword in the title and you want your keyword in the H1. So what this tool does is it will automatically tell you if you've done that. And then you could just look at this. And so I could see here on this page, uh, did you mean Prank Fortress SEO? Here it's telling me no, the headline does not match the title. So if I just go take five minutes and fix that, I will probably get better results on Google, better rankings. So that is another cool thing this tool does. But I told you that I had something special for those of you guys who stuck around to the end. So I'll get to that in just a second. And that's how to use AI to artificial intelligence to create your blog posts. So that's right here called the content editor. I'll get into it in just a second. I want to show you a couple other features of this SEO software. So you can actually check the traffic to your own website. So here we go. I can check hustlemarketing.com or you can use this tool to check the traffic of your competitor's website. Now check this out. This is cool. This pulls up every keyword that any website ranks for. So you can see it's still finding more. It's only found 35 so far, but you can see here all of the keywords that my site is ranking for, ranking for and the current rank. So here you can see blogging on Google. I currently rank 23 for blogging on Google, which gets 9,900 searches a month. Uh, average cost per click, $5.88. So if even half of these people click on my blog each month, uh, well, you do the math, 9,000, well, 4,000, 5,000 times $5. And that's how much free traffic I'm getting just from this one keyword and this one page. Now, this is still finding keywords. You can see it's up to 100 now. But again, you can organize this data based on monthly searches. I can do it based on current rank. So if we want to see what I'm ranking the best for, here you go. Some Call of Duty stuff, TikTok growth machine, um, Shine Ranker review, all kinds of keywords, right? And that's what this tool can do. But you can also use this to put a competitor's website in. So if I wanted to see what keywords, say, GrooveFunnels is ranking for, we just put it in here, GrooveFunnels.com. Give it a second to load. And in a second, this is going to tell me every keyword that GrooveFunnels itself ranks for. So if I wanted to go and try and steal their traffic, I could just go ahead and create a blog post about one of these words. And then I could click on the link right here to look at their page, see what information is missing from their page, put it on mine, and then suddenly I have better content, which will likely outrank the 
whatever site you're trying to. So um, there's one more thing I want to show you here, and that is tracked keywords. Um, we, if I come here to the projects dashboard here, you can uh, put multiple websites in here. So whatever websites you have, you can put. And then um, tracked keywords will let you come from these different pages when you're doing your keyword research. You can click this little check right here, and it will automatically track this keyword for your website and tell you whether or not you're ranking for it, so you can track your progress over time. So now let's get into the final step. I told you guys that I would show you how to use automation or AI, artificial intelligence, to create this content. So the first thing you'll do is just give your blog a t or your uh, content a title, so we'll call it AI Toys, and then we'll click Start Editing. Now, I think this is really going to blow you away with how fast you will be able to create highly engaging content. Now, how engaging it is, how well it ranks on Google, is going to come down to how much time you put into it, how much you tweak and edit it. It's not going to come out perfect, but what it will do is save you a tremendous amount of time from staring at a white screen and thinking up ideas and just click clacking away on your keyboard. So, this is taking a minute to load. Hopefully, it speeds up here so that I can show you, but uh, in the meantime, I want to give you a free gift for sticking through the video this far. I will show you how the AI works in just a second, but if you're looking to monetize your, your Groove blog, um, there's several ways to do it. Obviously, you can promote the GrooveFunnels affiliate program. I was promoting that for a while. I have stopped because many, many, many people have come to me and said that they are paying their affiliates late, and I know many people who have not been paid at all, who have made multiple sales and have not received their payments. So. Uh, with that said, my own payments from GrooveFunnels were late, and I never received an explanation, and that is very sketchy to me, so if you are an affiliate marketer and you want to promote this software, just be aware, there could be a delay, or, uh, you know, I, I don't know when you're going to get your payout from them. Uh, they haven't mentioned anything publicly, at least that I've seen, so super unfortunate. But anyways, that's the first way you can promote GrooveFunnels, but if you don't want to promote GrooveFunnels or if it doesn't really match with your offer, I want to give you my list of money-making affiliate links. So you can just click the link down below this video. Here's a, what that page looks like. This is howtorank.com slash links, and from here, you'll be able to grab two things. Well, actually, you can grab anything here that you want, but um, what I'm showing you here is the website ranking tool. This is what I've been using to find the keywords. So if you want to find what keywords people are searching, you want to track your results over time, and you want to use AI to speed the, up the process, I highly recommend grabbing this. Now, what I want to give you for free here is this button right here, Profitable Links to Promote. If you click that button, you'll be able to copy this list, and this is all of the affiliate offers that I promote online uh, to make money. And right here at the top, this one, is what I consider the best affiliate offer network. Now, this has thousands of affiliate offers that you can sign up and start promoting today, and the best part is many of them are CPA offers. In other words, cost per action, and basically that just means nobody has to buy anything for you to make money. I know that sounds crazy, but think about it for a second. Companies need leads, they need email addresses. So what this is, is you are getting paid to collect email addresses. So if you can get people to click on something, enter their email address, you can earn money and you can do that by signing up right here for this best affiliate offer network. Now the rest of these things are mostly just uh, different marketing tools that I use. So if you want to check them out, like I said, howtorank.com slash links, profitable links to promote, and this is the website ranking tool. There's also a couple other AI tools here and uh, link to my YouTube channel and all that. But let's get back into the tool. Here we go, it has opened up. This is our content creator for AI tools. So here's how this works. So we will just put a keyword in here, um, AI tool, or let's just get a little better. The best AI toys of 2023, right? So then we're gonna generate. And it's as simple as that, right? You type a keyword, you click generate, and this is going to create content for you. This was a little uh, short, normally it puts, spits out a little bit longer content, but I'll show you how it works. The best AI tools of 2023 will be a variety of different toys that have sensors, microphones, and cameras, which allow, so here uh, I'll put you, to communicate with other people and also listen about the world. These toys are really good for people who are lonely or just want to talk to a toy that is not alive. Okay, so that's a little bit awkward. It's not always perfect, but um, so we might put, how do AI toys work? generate. We'll give it just a second here to create content. And there we go. Now we have another paragraph. 
We'll get rid of the extra space there. AI toys are toys that are powered by artificial intelligence. The AI toy usually responds to voice commands and is able to respond with pre-recorded phrases or synthesized speech. AI toys can be interactive in the sense that they have touchscreen and can play games, but these type of AI toys are less common than voice controlled ones. The most popular use for AI toys is as an educational tool for children because it is able to answer specific questions asked by the child and has a lot of different pre-recorded speeches stored in its memory about things like math problems, science experiments, etc. So you can see how relevant this is. It's not the most exciting content, right? It's kind of generic, but that's why it's your job to spice it up. So what you're gonna to wanna to do with this tool is continue adding uh, topics that you want this thing to write about. So now we've got the best AI toys. We've got how do AI toys work. We could put how much do AI toys cost, right? So that's some other information we'd want in this. And you're just gonna go through and do this until you have enough content. Here that didn't give us very much content. So we can put something more generic. What is artificial intelligence used for? <clears throat> and we'll generate the content. So hopefully you're gonna put a little bit more time into this when you do it than I'm doing. I'm trying to rush through this here because I know you got things to do. I know you wanna get working on your own blog, but I just wanna show you how this works. So the use of artificial intelligence has been mostly used in the digital world. It's been used to create toys that could be considered as intelligent, yada, yada, yada. You get the idea. But what I wanna show you here is this little bar over here. You can see this is at 14. So what this does is tell us how optimized our content is. So ideally we wanna be over here in the green between 80 and 100. The closer to 100, the better your blog is going to rank on Google. And now this will also tell you, okay, if you want to rank for this word AI toys, you're probably going to want between 1,243 to 1,294 words. And it's getting this data from what is already ranking on Google so you know that it's accurate. And so far we have zero headings in this post. It's saying we're going to need 13 to 14 headings, 13 to 14 images, and 30 to 33 paragraphs. Now this is not an exact science. You don't necessarily need exactly what this tells you, but what you do need is enough relevant information that when somebody finds your page, they're going to stick around and look at it rather than bounce. Now one last cool feature of this tool is it's also going to recommend what other words to use in your blog. So it's saying if you want to rank for AI toys, you should have the word toys on your page 110 times. You should have the word kids 106 times, robot 82 times. Now maybe this is excessive, maybe you don't need to use 100 and uh, the toys a hundred times or kids a hundred times, but here you could see down here it has widget, privacy, gift, skill, play, uh, great gift, educational, technology, right? You're going to want to use all of these words in your content. And the more of these words that you include in your content here, the closer this arrow is going to get to the green. So that's basically how this works. You want to use the tool to create this content. Then you're going to copy this content, come over here to Grooveblog, paste it in here, and then you want to edit it. You want to add your own details. You want to make it exciting. You want to make it clickable. And the more you can... Uh, create the information that people are already searching for. And again, we're going to find that information by using the keywords research tool here so that we can know for sure, right, that we're targeting a word that people are actually searching. Not one of these ones way down here on page 14 that gets zero searches a month, right, because they're all weird things that people probably aren't typing in very often. We want to target the ones that get searched a lot and that have low competition. So that is how I optimize my Groove blog. That is how I've gotten over 12,000 clicks to my Groove blog in the past year using mostly AI generated content like I just showed you how to create. And then finally, this is how I've been monetizing my content using the links on this page, which I'm giving you for free. So if you haven't gotten started with this, if your Groove blog is not getting any traffic, if it's not making you money, this is how to fix it. You want to grab the website ranking tool. You want to grab my profitable affiliate links to promote and then just get to work creating content. The more of these posts you can make targeting these highly searched low competition keywords, the more traffic your blog is going to get and the more sales you will make. So that's about it. The last thing I want to show you here is just how to put this content in your blog. So here we go. This is about artificial intelligence toys. So we get here best AI toys of 2023. I'm going to click here on this embed code and then I'm going to come right over here to Amazon because I'm an affiliate for Amazon as well. So here I found a robotic humanoid toy. And what I'm going to do is just get 
the link to this text and image. So it's going to let me copy this here with one click. So I will copy it and then come back to Grooveblog, paste it in. It'll take a second to load there, but now, now that this blog is live, when people find this on Google and they're reading about the best AI tools, bam, there's an ad right here. Well, it didn't load this time, but you get the idea. This generally will come up with a, uh, you know, with the uh, the product here in my blog so that people can click directly from my blog. There it goes. You can see now best AI toys of 2023. Boom. Here's a link to order on Amazon. Anybody who clicks this link and orders this Amazon or this robot on Amazon, I will earn commission. And you can absolutely do the same thing. It's the same with these links. If I wanted to use one of these links, I'll do the same thing. I just click here, copy it, come over here and put it in the text. So um, this is not what I'm promoting, but assuming this was a link to a toy, I would just click this and paste and hit enter. And then boom, now that is a hot link to my affiliate offer. So I hope this helps you optimize your Groove blog. I hope this helps you get tons of free traffic. And most importantly, I hope you're able to monetize this free traffic. If this tutorial helped you in any way, you can take half a second to help me by smashing the thumbs up button. What that's going to do is trigger the algorithm to show it to more people so that more people can stop being frustrated and actually get traffic to their Groove blog. If you want to see more content like this, make sure you hit the subscribe button. That way you start getting notifications each time I upload a Groove Funnels tutorial exactly like this. And one more time, make sure you grab the website ranking tool and the profitable links to promote if you want to start making money online with your Groove blog. Take it easy, everybody.